everyone, it's Jessie with Everyday Science, and I'm here to show you how I put together my cymatics rig. Uh, there's not that much information out there on it, and so when I kind of built it, I, I just kind of did my best to pick and choose and all the resources that I found, and this is what I came up with. Uh, so basically what we have is a subwoofer that is connected to an amplifier that is connected to a preamp that is a USB connected to my computer. So first I'll go over all of the individual equipment that I use and how I put it together and then I'll go over the software. So I'm starting with this Rockford Fosgate uh, subwoofer here and here is the box for that. And as you can see it's connected here on two sides. So here's the wire I use. I just used an 18 gauge RCA speaker wire and this was about maybe four or five bucks from Fry's. So the wire has two sides. It has a negative side, which has this printed white line on it, and it has a positive side, uh, which has nothing on it at all. And if you can see back here, it's kind of split. This is coming out from the amplifier. Now the way you wire your speaker is going to completely depend on the type of speaker you have as compared to your amp, the ohms, and the wattage. There's a lot of really great resources for that out there. But the way I have mine set up is I have the speaker wire connected to the A and the B with a bridge, negative and positive and then it comes up through the back. I have the negative wire going to its own metal slot, and then there's a negative bridge that connects to that same negative wire and goes by itself to the other side. And then of course on the positive end, it comes up, it goes into its metal thing, and then I have a positive bridge wire connecting with that to the other end on its own. I know this can be a little bit confusing, so here's a diagram that I found that illustrates a little bit better what my setup is. Here you can see the front of the amps. Our main amp here is a Pile PTA 1000, and our uh, preamp here, it's a Mobile Pre USB interface, and it's from M Audio, which are the same people who make MBox. Here on the main amp, we have the power switch, we have the channel A and B levels, and it's the same thing up here. Uh, this is headphones, but here we have channel one and two, so our mic's in channel one, so we're gonna adjust this to make sure we're not clipping too hard, and same thing uh, over here. You might find you might be able to get the amp and the subwoofer to work without a preamp. Uh, I found that it wouldn't work for me unless I had the preamp running between the amplifier and the computer. I didn't know else how to hook it up and get a tone generator running through there. But they do have standalone tone generators. So if you have one of those, then that might work for you. Uh, also, if you plug the microphone directly into the main amplifier, you might be able to get that to work as well. But I find for especially the cornstarch monsters, you need to have the tone generator running through the speaker to give you a little bit of a baseline vibration. So here we have the back of the amps and you can see the speaker wire coming into the negative of channel B. We have it into the positive bridge of channel A. We also have a quarter inch cable running out of the output of the preamp and into the input of the channel A on the main amp. Here this is just the power going into the wall and over here this is a mic input. This is a channel one mic and this is to our Shure SM58. This is our USB cable and that's going into our computer. So as far as software goes, I use this online tone generator, which is just onlinetonegenerator.com. And if you're doing the cornstarch experiments, uh, you're going to probably be around 25 hertz. And you've got to make sure that the volume is turned up on the computer. So the way it works is that it goes through the preamp into the amp and then through the speaker and generates our tone. And then if you want to add your own sounds through the microphone, you're going to use GarageBand, or this is what I use, is GarageBand. And you go to Track and New Track, and you want to make sure that this is a real instrument, that it's a voice track. Uh, if your preamp is not coming up or something's going wrong, you might want to check in this section here to make sure your output and your input are both going through your preamp. And then most importantly, you want to make sure that the monitor is on. And this is going to allow you to hear yourself through the speaker in real time. If you don't have GarageBand or if you're using another program, check to see that it has a monitor option so you can hear yourself in real time. Okay, so just to wrap up guys, we have a speaker here, the subwoofer, which is connected to the main amplifier through a speaker wire. And then we have the amp that's connected to the audio interface preamp with a one quarter inch wire. And that's just kind of like what you hook up with your guitar to your regular amp. And then we have a USB connection from the preamp to our computer. 
and the computer is where we run our online tone generator, just onlinetonegenerator.com. And if you're using the cornstarch experiment and stuff, uh, go between like 25 and 35 hertz. That's a pretty good range for those little cornstarch monsters. And the ratio for the cornstarch mixture, by the way, it's two parts cornstarch and one part water. Then if you want to hook up your microphone so you get real-time live feedback, you want to use a program like GarageBand or any other recording program that has a live monitor option. That way you can hear yourself in real time. Thank you guys so much for watching as always. Check out our cymatics experiment video with Jay and Fitz. And if you're interested in more cymatics stuff, leave me a comment in the comment section below. If you want to learn how to do more how-to science-y stuff, let me know and I'll try to make it happen. And of course, don't forget to subscribe for science. <laughs> Sounds weird. Subscribe for science. Bye.